Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about throttles. As we head into 2023, just kind of want to show you what's out there for anyone entering the flight simulation throttle market. First, I want to start with these modules because they are some of the cheapest but good. They sell entire kits like this or you can purchase them separately. These two in particular, the GNX THQ and the GNX SEM are both $70 a piece. And the THQ, being the throttle quadrant, comes with several levers you can configure onto the axes. You got eight buttons and three axes, and this is not a bad throttle of all. The axes uh, have a good, smooth weight to them. I also appreciate that they cover the track for the throttle. Many quads leave these areas exposed, and you can get dust and hair, depending if you have pets and whatnot. Next is the SciTech or now Logitech throttle quadrant. This is actually the SciTech version because I bought it so long ago. This was my very first throttle quadrant and I remember there were not too many choices to pick from not long ago. Not like we have now. You get six buttons on the face, three axes, and each of these have an additional button contact point when you move the throttle into the red zone here. You get a handle for the throttle, prop, and mixture. And you can do things like throw two of these in a quadrant box. They make boxes that can actually mount two of these. I did that for a while with some 737 arms that I modded on there that I bought from some um, cockpit part place. They made them out of wood and painted them up and they look pretty good. But using these over time, the axes, uh, they got kind of twitchy for me on both models eventually. And that's probably just from dust and wear collecting in there. But I'm really going with like dust and things getting in there on the sensors that they just start to twitch. Just, but, you know, that stuff uh, wears out, but you can set dead zones and stuff to, you know, ease up on it picking up those, those little twitches. These used to cost around $150. Right now, heading into fall 2022, they are around $50 to $60. This is one of the latest throttles by Thrustmaster. It was released to go with their 787 yoke, which is very good, by the way. But this throttle never really made sense to me. Having autopilot functions instead of a parking brake or fuel cutoff levers. I mean, having the buttons and knobs are useful, but if we're going to replicate something, I like what they did with their Airbus throttle. A two axis quad with the engine start switch, the fuel valves, and the ability to add flaps and spoilers and a landing gear. And that's the approach I wish they had taken with this Boeing version. This throttle is about $150 right now and a complete Airbus quad is $120. You can run two 787 quads together and have a full setup with spoilers and flaps or throttle down the middle flap spoilers on the sides. Pretty much the same story for all these throttles so far. Thrustmaster also makes some fighter quads, so if that's what you're looking for, this company is one place to browse when shopping for those too. Now here is our first throttle prop mixture quadrant of the bunch, and this is a 3D printed one by FlightSim Stuff. They charge about $150 for this model, and you get a trim wheel, throttle, prop, mixture, flaps, I mean a really good deal, and not only for this style of throttle, but trim and flaps is very nice to have included. They also have a few other versions too without flaps and trim and these are a little bit cheaper. But I've used these for a while and they're really good. It's uh, it's a pretty good product. Another one worth mentioning, but it's not just a throttle, it's a yoke too. And that's the Turtle Beach Velocity one. I got to try these at the last Flight Sim Expo. It's a pretty cool design because you have both the TPM and the throttle arms plus a trim wheel and a ton of buttons. It, it'd be really useful if you want that like one and only setup, and, but this package will run you 380 but you're pretty much set on, on buttons and things like that. Next up is the Virtual Fly TPM. Now this is the king of kings when it comes to TPMs. This is the Virtual Fly TPM costing around $900. And that's a bit out of most people's price range. And this was donated to me by a good friend of mine and these are made to go in real trainers that you can log time on. It's made to feel big and heavy like the real unit, and when you go to use this, you feel the quality. I mean, it feels like a machine. It's just overkill for most people, but it is out there if this is what you're seeking. Last but 100% not least is the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. 
I would say this is the most bang for your bucket, $250 complete with six axes, which you usually don't get. Each one has interchangeable handles for GA and transport aircraft and reverse thrust for up to four engines. You get a trim wheel, landing gear lever, autopilot switches, seven additional toggle switches. A throttle like this will cover you in just about every situation. The quality, the feel, the options, this quadrant really is worth it for what they're giving you. If I was to buy any of them, excluding somebody who's just looking for uh, TPMs for GA, you know, flying a Cessna 170, excluding those guys, I would get this honeycomb for any other situation. Well, everyone, that is going to do it for the Throttle Showcase. Hopefully this provided you with enough info to get you shopping in the right direction. I'm going to link in the description some additional videos that I have on some of these products that go into a lot more detail about them. Obviously, I can't go into it crazy extensive amount of detail about each one in a video like this but my goal was to just kind of get you knowing what's out there because it's great to know all of your options before you get into shopping for things like this so all right everybody hope that was helpful see you next time